They've been stargazing at Armagh for 200 years. Well, this is a real piece of astronomical history. This is the Troughton Equatorial Telescope, and it's the oldest telescope in the world in its original setting in a dome. The observatory here and another at Dunsink near Dublin placed this island on the world map. Their contribution to scientific discovery, well, astronomical. This catalogue here, the NGC catalogue, the New General Catalogue, is probably the piece of work which we're most famous for. This is a catalogue of the most interesting objects in the night sky, the nebulae, and it was mapped and catalogued here using a telescope which still works today in Armagh. We basically are forecasters of solar activity. At Dunsink Observatory, they're using data from the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter mission to study the sun. And cross-border cooperation has replaced this ancient technology with the most modern. Universities from north and south having come together to build a radio telescope at another site, Burr Castle. This telescope is allowing us to study explosions on the sun and how they affect our planet. They're helping us to look at uh, exoplanets, as in small or large planets, orbiting around other stars. It's helping us to look at the very origin of the universe and where all of the galaxies and all of the stars and we actually came from. From mapping the stars to monitoring climate change, science is fueling optimism in this place. At a time when we do need hope to be able to look at those jewels in the crown of scientific research that were established in the Age of Enlightenment because of the recognition of the role of science in the development of human knowledge and the democratisation of knowledge, I think it's very valuable to think about. Astronomical research inspired the first North-South agreement after partition and it continues to build bridges. This collaboration demonstrates that there are some things, like science, that trump the politics of division here. Astronomy in particular, bringing people together onto the same sky. This small island appears destined to continue its big impact on global science. You could say it's written in the stars. David Blevins, Sky News in Armagh.